Okay, so today what we're gonna do is I'm gonna be replacing the wastegate. This is just an internally gated wastegate, factory one. Um, that one here, so you can see it's dented right here. It's actually having issues causing boost spikes. So I'm just gonna eliminate the problem altogether and replace the wastegate. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on the SRT4. It is also the same process for the PT Cruiser Turbo, which is also known as the PT Cruiser GT. Um, I think there's other sub-models that have the same turboed engine as this, but you'll have an intake manifold that's a little bit different. So basically it's the same concept, um, but yeah, there will be 13 millimeter bolts, I, I believe, rather than 12, but I have 12s from Hondas, so I just put the Honda bolts in and it fits. So. Okay, so there's these two bolts. There's one here and there's one at the bottom. We'll go ahead and take those off. After we get this hose off right here, we have zip ties holding on to help keep the hose on because with boost you sometimes just have to zip tie the uh, fittings if you don't have the original OEM ones. In this car I had no OEM fittings. But the hose is on there tight. It's just that zip tie helps keep it solid. We'll take the vacuum line off. There's a cotter pin right here, which I've already got it loosened up and everything so I can make it quick removal. And then I usually turn this up so I can get the wrench and ratchet in here a little bit better. But this flapper here is the wastegate um, valve little flapper inside. I'll go ahead and loosen these bolts yeah, put them in pretty good so I want nothing to go nowhere loose enough and just get them out and apparently it's not loose enough There's one of them. And there's the second one. Basically, that's all it is to get that out. And you see it's pretty dented up right here, which could be causing part of the issue. And this nipple's bent off a little bit to the side. But yeah, we'll go ahead and swap the other one on.
sure that those are tight. Flip that around. And that'll go on to there. We'll get the collar pin. This is how I use these cotter pins because it doesn't fit in there all the way. So I'll go in and I'll just like loop it around. It ain't going nowhere. Then we'll reconnect the vacuum line. And then I'll put a zip tie around that later, but that's it. That's all you gotta do to replace the wastegate actuator on an internally wastegated uh, turbo setup. Like this is the factory turbo and manifold with the factory uh, wastegate actuator. So, hope this video helps someone. Um, you guys know the drill. If you haven't already subscribed or liked the video, Go ahead and do that. Um, so, share this video. Maybe you think someone it will help with. Tag them in the video. Um, it's basically just step by step. That's all you got to do for do-it-yourself stuff. Remember how it came off. Put it back on the same way. So, if you get lost, take pictures along the way. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, and let me know what you guys think.